Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's session, I'm going to talk about uh, George Peely. Before getting into this session, kindly subscribe my YouTube channel and you will get the further updates about my upcoming lectures. Yes, uh, in the year of 1556, he was uh, a Baptist and uh, he lived up to 1596. Uh, he was, of course, uh, a versatile personality uh, since he was as a translator, poet, a dramatist. And uh, he was uh, noted for uh, his collaboration with William Shakespeare uh, for the play uh, Titus Andronicus. Even some, uh, you know, anonymous Elizabethan plays have been attributed to George Peeley, but uh, his reputation was seen on the Edward I and uh, the Old Wives' Tale, the Battle of Alcazar, the Alignment of Paris, and David and Bethsab, B T H S A B E, the troublesome Ring of John, a King of England. Okay, in these works, you know, his reputation was seen, even though there were uh, uh, some, you know, anonymous Elizabethan plays which have been attributed to George Peeley and uh, William Shakespeare's uh, King John. It's of course uh, an immediate source for uh, Shakespeare's. Some of the Peeley's works have been the uh, source for Shakespeare's works uh, in which uh, Shakespeare's uh, King John, this has been published under uh, George Peeley's name. Peeley was educated at Christ Hospital and he gone into uh, Broadgates Hall, uh, Axford University in the year uh, 1571. In the year of 1574, uh, George Peeley removed to Christ Church uh, and uh, taking his BA degree in the year 1577. And in the year 1579, he started uh, proceeding with uh, his master degree. In the same year, the uh, governors of Christ Hospital requested their uh, clerk to uh, discharge his house for his son. So Peely went up to uh, London about uh, the year 1580. Uh, there, you know, uh, he got married. Uh, that was his uh, first wife, uh, 16 years old, uh, Harris Anne Cook, Anne Cook, the only child of uh, Hugh Christian. Around the year 1583, Albatros uh, Alasco, a Polish nobleman, was entertained at Christ Church. There, uh, Pele was uh, interested with the arrangement of two Latin plays by William George, and uh, that was presented on the occasion. Okay, uh, He was also complimented by... Uh, Gagger for an English verse translation of one of the Iphigenias of uh, Euripides. In the year 1585, he was uh, employed to write the device of the Pagean born before Woolston Dixie. Robert Green, uh, at the end of his pamphlet, uh, Green's Growth's Worth of Wit, there, you know, he exports Pele to uh, repentance, saying that Pele, like Green himself, has been uh, driven to extreme shifts for a uh, living. Anecdotes of his reckless life were emphasized by the use of his name in connection with the uh, apocryphal uh, Mary Conceiter, uh, just of George Peeley. It was printed uh, in the year 1607. Uh, there are uh, so many stories had uh, circulated before uh, in other just books uh, which uh, unattached to Peely's name but uh, there are uh, personal touches that uh, which may be biographical okay the book provided source material for the play the puritan okay? one of the works of uh, shakespeare's uh, apocrypha uh, this is uh, largely dismissed by Peely's biographer david h david h horn in the minds of uh, at least some of those who have uh, voiced such uh, views of process of circular uh, reasoning must have uh, uh, unconsciously taken place. A mere st statement that Pele died by the pox means uh, that Pele was uh, dissipated and uh, his acquaintanceship with Green who uh, was uh, dissipated uh, bears his out. Therefore, because he was acquainted with Green and died of the pox may be accepted as authentic. He notes that just books on famous subjects were common, including uh, Shakespeare, Johnson, Ben Johnson, Colley Kibber, Thomas uh, Kilgrew, 
James Quinn and uh, David Garrick, Lawrence Ten, William Kangri, Lord Sandwich, Lord Chesterfield, Samuel Johnson, Falstaff, Tristram Sandy. He shows that uh, Peele shows that most were derived from merry tales and uh, quick answers, while few just unique uh, to volume follow uh, similar patterns to uh, traditional, just with uh, merely the details changed. Uh, of course, uh, Peele was said to be a product of Middle London. Uh, Horn writes, uh, Horn is biographer, okay? Horn writes, recurrent courtly themes of war and uh, pastoralism show that uh, in his work has uh, he aspired to the highest. It's ironical that uh, his present uh, repetition should have dropped him to uh, lowest. George Pele was in most respects like his fellow Elizabethans. Uh, morally neither better or worse, aesthetically more perspective. In technical skill, uh, equal to his fellow poets uh, in sweetness of his uh, piping, um, superior to all but Marlowe, uh, Spencer and Shakespeare. Pele may have married a second time uh, to Mary Gates of uh, Mary Gates. Uh, it's not possible uh, to state definitely that uh, Pele was uh, who married uh, is you know a dramatist uh, as the author of George Pele, but at the same time there was no authentic information that uh, Mary Gates actually got married to George Pele. Frank S. Hook, who, who edited a 1961 edition of Edward the First, and suggests that uh, David H. Horn's speculation in the first volume of the same edition is correct and. In believing this is the same George Pele is based on fictitious incident in that uh, place first scene. In the scene, Edward the first establishes a, a, a college for uh, wounded soldiers, something he did not do in real life. Nor was uh, this something Elizabeth did. Okay, uh, although in the year 1587 the Earl of uh, Leicester had done so in Elizabeth's name, at the uh, uh, Galtius. While uh, it must be said that uh, who can horn or uh, writing for the same edition with Charles Taylor Prouty as a general editor, uh, this ties directly with the horn's supposition that uh, this is the same George Peely uh, for Peely who married Mary Gates was the widow of the former uh, master gunner of. Uh, uh, Bergen op Zoom, Lawrence Gates. Lauren Gates and Mary and George Pele entered a lengthy legal battle to collect Mary's uh, war widow salary. Uh, one wonders uh, why Pele would have added such a fictitious moment to Edward I where uh, he not uh, the George Pele trying to collect these funds. This involved uh, uh, a three-year uh, litigation against Thomas uh, Gurlin, who was a buyer of soldiers' uh, uncollected wages, who who countersued Mary on allegations that uh, she had forged Lawrence Gates' will. The record does not show whether uh, Gurlin, who styled the payment, ever actually paid what he owed to the Peleys. Pele's pastoral comedy, The Arrangement of Paris, was uh, presented by uh, Children of the Chapel Royal uh, before Queen Elizabeth. Uh, then uh, it was uh, done uh, the early part of the year 1581 and was printed anonymously in the year 1584. In this play, Paris is asked by Jupiter to decide uh, which goddesses like Juno, Pallars, or Venus which goddess should be awarded the golden apple? He awards this to Venus, who carries Paris away, leaving his wife uh, Voynon, o -E -N -O -N -E, Voynon. Juno and Pallas arraign Paris before the gods of partiality in his judgment. The case is then referred to Diana, with whom the final decision rests. She gives the apple to none of the competitors, uh, but to a nymph called Eliza, our uh, Zabeta Fair, a reference to uh, Queen Elizabeth I. And uh, George Pillay's play, a famous chronicle of King Edward I, was printed in the year 1593, 
This chronicle history is an advance on the old chronicle plays and marks a step towards the Shakespearean historical drama. Pele may have written or contributed to the bloody tragedy Titus Andronicus. Uh, this was published as the work of Shakespeare due to Pele's uh, predilection for gore as uh, evidenced in the Battle of Alcazar. Okay, this was printed in the year 1594. Uh, of course, was published anonymously. This one was attributed uh, with uh, much probability to uh, Pele. The Old Wives Tale was published in the year 1595, was followed by The Love of King David and Fair Betsafe was uh, written in the year 1588 and uh, printed in the year 1599. Uh, this is uh, notable f as an example of uh, Elizabethan drama uh, that was drawn entirely from uh, a scriptural sources. F. G. Flea uh, sees in it uh, uh, political satire. Scriptural sources, okay. F. G. Flea is uh, uh, seen this as a political satire and uh, identified Elizabeth and Leicester as David and Bathsheba, Mary, uh, Queen of Scots, as Absalom. Sir uh, Cleomon and Sir uh, Clemiots. C L Y O M O N, Sir Cleoman and Sir Claimers. C L Y O M O D E S. This work was printed in the year 1599 and which had been attributed to Charles Peele but uh, on insufficient grounds. So some more plays uh, attributed to Peele like uh, uh, Jag Straw, S T R E A W was published in the year 1587 the wisdom of dr dodipol devo ddy P O L L was published in the year 1600 the maids metamorphosis was printed in the year 1600 and uh, wiley beagled w i l y b e g u i l e d wiley beagled was printed 166 Though the scholarly consensus uh, has judged these attributions to insufficiently supported by evidence, indeed, individual scholars have repeatedly resorted to Pele in their attempts to uh, grapple with the Elizabethan plays of uh, uncertain authorship. Uh, plays uh, which have been assigned to Pele include uh, Locrine, the uh, troublesome reign of King John and uh, Paris the first and second of Shakespeare's uh, uh, Henry the sixth trilogy. In addition to Titus Andronicus, Edward the third was attributed to Pele by Tucker Brook in the year 1908. While uh, the attribution of uh, entire play to Pele is no longer accepted, Sir Barin Vickers uh, demonstrated using metrical and other analysis that Pele wrote that the first act and the first two scenes in Act Two of Titus Andronicus with Shakespeare responsible for the rest. And uh, the honor of Gatter, G A R T E R. It is, is, you know, poetry, which has a prologue uh, containing Pele's judgment of his uh, contemporaries. And uh, Polyhymnia, P-O-L-Y-H-Y-M-N-I-A, Polyhymnia was uh, written in the year 1590. Uh, it's also poetry, was written in blank words, uh, you know, description of the ceremonies attending the retirement of the Queen's champion, Sir uh, Henry Lee. Uh, this is concluded by a lyric poem, A Farewell to Arms. Uh, this was written for retirement uh, ceremony in the year 1590 of uh, Queen Elizabeth's first, Queen Elizabeth's first champion knight uh, in which he pledges uh, undying loyalty to the queen, addressed as a goddess. Uh, it was quoted by Thackeray in the 76th chapter of uh, Newcomes and notably served as the title of uh, Ernest Hemingway's uh, novel of the same name. To the Phoenix Nest in 1593, he contributed uh, the praise of chastity. George Pele was said uh, to be one of the university wits, university scholar uh, in Green's phrase, uh, uh, spend their wits 
in making plays green then uh, went on to say that uh, he was uh, in some things rarer in nothing interior to christopher morlo and thomas nash this praise was uh, not uh, unfounded the credit given to green and morlo for the increased dignity of english dramatic diction and for uh, new smoothness infused into blank verse certainly be shared by peely professor francis baton uh, gamier g u m m e r e francis baton gamier uh, in a critical essay prefix to his edition of uh, the old wives tale uh, puts in another claim for peely uh, in the contrast between uh, romantic story and the realistic dialogue he sees that uh, the first instance of humor quite foreign to the comic business of earlier comedy the old wives tales is a play within a play perhaps better described as an interlude its background of rustic folklore f o l k l o r e rustic folklore uh, which gives it additional interest and there is much fun pop at uh, gabriel harvey and richard uh, stenhurst uh, peeles works were edited by alexander days okay and uh, a h bullen and uh, uh, charles taylor prouty well that's it about uh, george peeles thanks for listening my lecture kindly subscribe my channel